Welcome to the first round of the Stanley Cup playoff game. I'm your host, Son of Beast, here, and this is NHL Stanley Cup playoffs of the season. Without being said, we are about to start off with the first game of the season here. Postseason is starting right now. So the Stars won the game, and they will be in the Central Division to play against the Colorado Avalanche. And then the other team that will be playing here for a number of straight sectional wins here that will be playing with us will be the, will be the Blues, and they will be playing to face against the Calgary Flames for the first game. We're going to start off in the Western Conference section in a Blue Regional. And it's just not enough to get right in through it because that's a lot of work, but there might be changing things a little bit at either sides. So we're about to see Blues and Flames at Calgary for the first game. We're about to see who can take the first win of the game. Now remember, this is best out of seven. So the team that wins will be heading on to the next game and able to hit four wins in the game. So, without further ado, we start with the game off here after the loss against the Stars, it was Blues, and Calgary Flames are the first one teams to start them on their line. Let's get you going at Scotty at Bank Saddle Dome. Welcome everybody along with Ray Furrow, I'm James Kowalski to this EA Sports Showdown and we are fired up, let's drop the puck already. Face -off is First game, over. we're about to start now. Let's get going. The Blues take possession here on the opening try. We are underway. Stays with it. Wow! Wow, that was a great start. Oh, absolutely rocks them. Yeah, sending a message early there, James. He gets the body contact. Fires it into the offensive zone. Passed up ahead. Can't get it to go. Here's a short pass to Perron. From in close. Oh, what a paddle save on the play. Slides it up front. Calgary's got the puck against the boards. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. Here's a rocket of a shot. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Still looking for our first goal. Thomas wins possession of the defensive zone. Straight up the middle, here they come. The Flames played along the boards. And a stick in the lane deflects that one away. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. The Blues win the draw. The Flames gain possession. Simple stop by Bennington. Buchnevich is swooping in on the attack. A chance right in front. Scores! They're on the board early. Yeah, there's also a lot of people not in their seats yet. Man, that was quick. He stick handled his way into that scoring chance, guys. That's his puck on a string superstar ability. And that dangle was the key to getting them on the board there. St. Louis goal, his first goal of the season, scored by number 89, Vivaldi Vujinovich. Just by number two, the you know, Time of the goal, the goal 245, 3-45 in the first period. Calgary's won the draw, no goal to work. Big save by the goaltender. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. St. Louis wins the draw. Takes the bank feed. Handles the puck. Even the push out of the way. He's got the puck. That pass goes a little Offside, St. Louis. And that's 
Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. The Blues lead it 1-0. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the center. Oh. He scores! What a goal! That's just a minute between goals. That sure changes things here on the ice. Yeah, the game has completely been turned upside down. Guys, he's so good at taking these face-offs here, and this time it results in a goal for his team using his quick draw zone ability, which we St. Louis goal. His first goal of the season in the playoff game is that and that's by that's number by eight or number twenty, Brandon Sad, and assisted by number twenty, Ryan O'Reilly. Time of the goal, eight forty-three to go. No, he did not see him here. The first period. To get in on the scoring. St. Louis takes possession off the draw. Perron's got it along the boards. Cuts to the front. Fires it. And he comes up with the save. St. Louis takes possession of the neutral zone. From center, they get into the attacking area. Calgary's moving the puck through center ice. The Flames played along the ball. Oh, man. Oh, he got knocked out. In the defensive end. Takes a shot. Good save. How did he get a piece of that? Moves it to Perron. There he is from the slot. Big time stop. Mark Stokes got excellent positioning here to make that stop. I don't think if he's in good shape positionally, he even comes close to this. Oh, what another save! I thought they worked the puck around pretty good. Scores! The captain delivers! Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. The Blues just recently adding to their lead. They're now up by three. St. Louis goal, this first goal of the season in the playoff game. Scored by number 20, Ryan O'Reilly. Time of the goal, time of the goal, 8.21 remaining in the first period. Who does it? Calgary's won the face off deep in their own Quickly over to Tanner. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. Missed it off the line. Possession of the puck. Now a quick pass to Bushnevich. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. And the intensity start to ramp up here after that hit. Sends the pass over. Calvary's got the puck inside the defensive zone. And he makes the save. St. Louis takes possession along the wall. Quick pass to Bushnevich. Can't connect on the pass. Great pass from the left wing up the middle now. Calgary's got the puck along the wall. Quick feed down low. Oh, this is turning into demolition. Derby night after that collision. Keeps a hold of it on the play. Shen's gaining momentum. Tries to get it over to Pareko. St. Louis plays it along the wing. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. There's the whistle. Let's get the official. Calgary penalty. Well, what else is Nicholas Ignorio. Two minutes for tripping. minutes for tripping. Those get by you get a lead on a column game today in this. Don't do this at all. Oh, it's for tripping. This is the power play for chance. We'll see if they can get on the power play for the St. Louis Blues. Takes the pass, he banks it off the wall. Here's a short pass to Shen. Back to the next, they score! I like the way they use that man power advantage to their advantage. They move the puck 
Nearing the midway mark of the period. St. Louis has added to their lead. They're now up by four. It's looking like a blowout now. St. Louis goal, his second goal of the season in the playoff game. Scored by number 20, Ryan O'Reilly. In a power play. Looking to set up offensively. Hopefully in the defensive end. Gets the puck over mm. to Kachuk. Top of the goal. 19, the minute, 19 the minutes, 43 seconds in this in first period. What the bank pass. And now it's over to Saad. It's a chance on the rush. 2 on one, one Moves it to Pareko. Here's a shot. Long jam in front. That's broken up. Calgary's got possession of the puck. And that's deflected. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? Moves it quickly over to Lindholm. Oh, hello! Comes up with the puck with a quick steal. Nice flick of the stick. Quick feed to Dubé. And it's in! They come one here, and it's a long way to go, but Ray, some momentum to reach for. Well, you gotta find something positive, James. I mean, a good chunk of this game has not gone their way. But they get on the board here, and maybe they can find a little energy, something to dig down a little deeper to get back in the game. What did he hammer that? Too much power for the goalie to control, and it hits him, and still goes in. The Flames are on the board. Lots of time left, but yeah. boy, a big mountain to climb. They really do. This is not a... Come on, Flames goal! His first goal of the season, scored by number 29. Go, Jalen! Yeah, assisted by number 22, and Kravetsky! Time and goal! 36 feet! The Flames gain possession along the wall! Time and goal! 36 minutes, 43 seconds in the first period! Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Oh, aggressive move as he pumps it away! Past the midway mark of the frame, Calgary's been dominated to this point, trailing by three. The Blues take possession off the faceoff. Barbashev's got it on the offensive end. Quick pass to Shen. Way too much congestion blocks that. And that's broken up. Calgary's got a hold of the puck. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Slides the pass over to Barbashev. Levels the one to hit. Quick feed to Kairou. And that's hooked away. Calgary's got a hold of the puck now. And he breaks up the opportunity in front of the poke check. Nice zone entry from the left. Nice pass. The Blues take it across the Oh! oh. That's an inside out. After reviewing the penalty, after official review, well, didn't like the, call, but not a lot of time the puck has not crossed into the red line. That means we have a no goal. St. Louis wins the draw in the neutral zone. Here's a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Puck scooped up by Good Branson. Here's a short pass to Mangiapane. Picked up along the boards by Thomas. Inside the defensive zone, moving the puck. Pass to Tarasenko. And that's poked away. He scores! Vladimir Tarasenko! Here in the later stages of this period, St. Louis has taken total control of this one. They're leading by four. St. Louis goal. His first goal of the season. Score by number 20. Torres Echo. I see the first assist by number nine. Oh, here we move it. Top of the goal. 
Time of the goal, 18, 44 seconds. Second period chance. Let's get in the second period to start the game. A for both teams to refuel. They are back on the ice, and period number two is about set to go. St. Louis wins the draw to start the period. They gotta be quick though on this power play. Takes over a shot. Oh, what a stop on the play! Gets all of it with the paddle. Markstrom's no different than anybody else tonight. I mean, that's a good start that he makes, but he hasn't been very good, and the team has played rather poorly. Oh, and a heads up play to puck it away. And they get the puck out of the danger zone. This has been a heck of a shift for them. They've got them hemmed into the offensive zone. Now they can carry the puck around as the defenders are just going to play a tight box. They look exhausted. Lots of time left in this period. The Blues have been all over them tonight. 5-1 is where we sit. Calgary's got it in the defensive zone. Control scouted into offensive territory. And a stick break setup. Slice that one right across the blue line. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Back at the point, they set it up. Here's a blast. Answers the call with a big save. Quick pass to Goudreau. And that pass goes off a stick. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. An easy save by Markstrom. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Send a little big kick here, try to hold it. Don't let him push into the net. Some last second communication before both teams get ready to drop the puck here. O'Reilly's won the draw. Picked up by Lucic. And that's a 
solid clearing attempt on the play. Looks to set up at the point now. Here's a short pass to Tavoli. Calgary's got it along the wall. You'll need more than that to beat him. Back to the point he goes. Hots to the paint. That goes wide. Most dangerous place on the ice, and he can't capitalize. From behind the net to see what he can do. They're playing the game downhill, James. The whole shift is in this end. Anderson's going to play it against the half wall. And now he moves it to Hannafin. Snapper from the slot. Oh, what a save in front. That center, excellent save. Lots of time left in this period. It's a 5-1 hockey game. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. The Blues will play it in their own end. Through center along the wing. Almost lost the puck but hangs on here as play continues. St. Louis has it in the open ice. Calgary's got a hold of it against the ball. Scrum ensues along the boards. Passes on over to Anderson. Nice zone entry from the middle. Moves it to Coleman. Fails to find the open man. The flame scooping up along the boards. O'Reilly's got it across the line. Moves it quickly over to Perron. Trying to clear. Well, they can't clear, but they still hang on to it. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. With a big hit. Boy, he got right into a solid hit. Sends a pass over. Maintains possession. And now it's grabbed by Buchnevich. Blocked in front. He was left in there. No room for the shooter. The goaltender snuffed it out. Calgary's coaches are going to have to find a new way to get these players into the game here. They've been dominated through the first half. Denied by the goaltender. Markstrom's going to hang on to that one for a whistle. Quickly on top of that, James. He needed a cover there. Need a lot of cover. Right? We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. St. Louis has been playing a whole lot of boom goes the dynamite, leading 5-1. The Blues win. A goes alone. Quick feed to Kachuk. Here's a shot with the stop. Takes the pass. The Blues are in transition. And now he angles it across to Thomas. Oh, and the anchor is dropped on that hit. Levels him on the ice. James, I love that hit because it was delivered fast and legally. He put his shoulder right Icing on Calgary. Icing is the call. We'll get a face up at the other end. Officials getting ready to drop the puck to get play back underway. Shens won the draw here in the offensive zone. Well, now they've got them running around. They're a little tired after the icing. Calgary's got it in their own zone. Picking up some steam at center ice. The flames carried along the wall. Directs it on over to Sedora. Dishes it to Good Branson. Steps inside. Into the offensive end now. And he regains control of the puck. The Flames have it from the corner. And that one's broken up. Great block there. Keeps holding the puck. Stop it. Offside. Offside. Flames win the draw here in the neutral zone. Tries to get it to Hannafin. The Flames will play it against the boards. And that's a smart heads up play by Falk. St. Louis continues to have a dominant performance here. Another intercepted pass, another chance on goal. Oh, he goes down. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Here's 
Johnny Go! Sissy Valley number for three on him. Melee! Five minutes to go. 15 48 remaining in the second period. Also with the goal, first goal of a season score by number four, four Andrew McCauley. And assisted by number 88, and he magnified. Time and a goal, eighth first thing remaining in the third second period. And he slides it quickly to the grandson. Period. Here in the second period. Here And Cinco, he quattro. Oh. 20 shots on goal for Calgary Flames and 35 shots on goal for St. Louis. one, but what will happen in the third period? Find out once this break is finished, and then we will get back in the action for the first game of the playoffs. It all comes down to the third period. It's 4-3, it's 5-4 game. The next goal could be a big one as 
Flames goal! His second goal of the season, scored by number 88, Andre Pengerhain. Uh, assisted by the period of the playoffs, number 9, Andre Pengerhain. And by number 24, Four. And ten alive. Time of the goal. Three minutes, four minutes, fifteen seconds. In the third period. Period. Single. Okay. He's single. He Keep it even. Forty-seven shots on goal for St. Louis, and thirty-five shots on goals for Chicago Flames.
Blues a pass over. Point to point pass. The Blues gain possession. All alone. Scores! Goal! Wow, this is a great reaction, James. He doesn't have much time to finish it off. Makes a perfect shot. Well, they're not going anywhere here in the first game. The Blues have closed the gap here in the back half of the third. Still time to go, but now they've given themselves a fighting chance. St. Louis goal, his second goal of the season, score by number 20, Brayden Saad. Time of the goal, goal, 9.45 remaining in the third period. Zete decides, 84 p. Receives the pass. 47 shots on goal for, 40, for Flames, and 53 shots on goal for St. Louis. Seconds in the third period. Save it, DTFA, you need to serve me. Here's a chance. Pops it in for the go ahead goal. Control the game now. You finally got the lead. You worked so hard to get in front. Don't give it up now. The coach is talking about getting to the front of the net. Make it difficult on the goal and take his eyes away. And he only can see the player's butts in front of him. He can't even see the puck. Calgary's gone up by one. What's the strategy now, Ray? Nothing really changes except... Flames goal! His first goal of the season scored by number 11. Uh, he's going really missed one there. You don't Barley. think he's going to Assisted by number 16. By number 44, A. Goldson! And by number 16, Zoran Zubarov! Time of the goal, 16 0, 22 remaining in the third period. Ocha, DC Ete, ADC Fred B. 27 face off wins here for the St. Louis Blues and 14 for the Flames. 54 five shots on goal for St. Louis and 42 and 47 for for the Flames.
16 for 34 ratings. Category penalty, Elias Lindholm, two minutes for tripping. St. Louis is ready to go back to work on special teams. Those momentum, you need your power play for the category If you have one or two, Elias Lindholm. Oh, on for tripping. Hey, power play for St. Louis Blues. Completion of Calgary Flames and St. Louis Blues. Nine to seven, your final score. It was an amazing rumble kills out there. No longer why. Here are the three stars player in the game. Number three we have is 
Michael Backlund, one goal, two assists and hits. It just didn't turn out that way, but that is just another one that he had turned out. The second star goes out to Eric Godbradson, four assists, six hits. Not with just amazing one out he just played it here, but he got knocked it from. And for the first star of the game, this one is definitely going to go for Johnny Garduro. I'm going to say close quarters. That was a saving moment after that, and that was impossible to find out how this all turned out. 52 shots and 40 shots here for Calgary and St. Louis. 36 and 34, time attack, 523 and 10-28 for Calgary. 94 percentage, 75 for Calgary. Might need to get a little bit more aggressive. 31 face-off wins turned out to be too much here for St. Louis, but 15 might need to go up a little even more. Seven power plays for St. Louis and 13 for Calgary on the penalty minutes. And it's only one power play goal for the St. Louis Blues in 4-16 in the power play minutes. So that's it for the first game. Join us for the next game here as we head off to the Eastern Conference game. As we all show you, the next matchup is Carolina Hurricanes. And they will be playing against the Washington Capitals here in the Metropolitan section in the first round. So, tune us with the next time that we bring here, Monday, on Son of Beasts. So, thanks for sticking with us, and have a great night in Calgary. Until next time, for a while as the NHL playoff of Stanley Cup dial. See you next time.